Alrighty, all you fans of prehistoric combining robots, here is the video review I know you've all been waiting for. SHF Dragon Ranger, a.k.a. Tommy Green Ranger, the best ranger in the whole wide world. Oh, he's so great. Or whatever. So yeah, Dragon Ranger came in today. Very happy to have him. Um, and I like the packaging. I like, I like the photo over here. The green and gold looks nice together. I'm not going to focus on the packaging too much. There's some neat little Kyori Center as you range our, uh, all around the edges. Very cool. So we crack them open. Standard SHF packaging. Nothing super exciting. So slide them out. Plastic tray. Lots of hands. Accessory parts. Swords. Very nice. And you just pop the... It's not a... It's not a you just pop the front plate off. You don't slide the whole clamshell thing up. Which is kind of nice. Um, the only thing I don't like about these is like the way they snap open. It causes the fist to like flop all over the place. So inside you get... Uh, you get Green Ranger, Dragon Ranger, however you want to call him. You get a very large sword with a tassel that doesn't tassel. I don't know, is that what they call it when the tassel flops around? A tassel? Oh, and it's really a really cool clear gem effect. You can actually kind of see Tommy or Green Ranger reflected in it. I don't know how well that's picking up on camera, but you can kind of see him. See, there he's not there. Oh, there he is, uh, upside down in the gem. And a bunch of different interchangeable fists, which are easy to you just pop them off. He comes with closed fist attached. We'll do the fun stuff. Um, but he's got a set of open fists that you can uh, kind of slide the, uh, the sword onto if you want him to hold the big sword. Like that. This does actually holster in the sheath over here, which is nice. So he can have that right over there like that. And also he can pull off, of course, of course, I had to quote Louis C.K. Pop the fist off, you can put on the special set of hands. Oh, this pops off too. I was going to show that later, but you know, whatever. So yeah, put this on. Special hands. Come on. There we go. And he actually hands, has hands molded to uh, play the, the sword here. Come on, hold it. Hold it. Bring it up to your mouth. Da -da -da -da. It was so much easier to pose earlier today. There we go. Oh. Of course, this is this is how my whole day has been going, pretty much. Just I try to get something done, and it takes about four hundred extra steps to get this done. But you can pose him. There we go. You can pose him so he's playing it. Awesome! Took me a couple minutes. You can actually get it more in line there, but... And you can get it more horizontal. It should be more horizontal. Um, I'm just afraid that if I start messing with it too, too much, it's going to start falling apart again. There we go. So yeah, very cool. Um, standard SHF posability. Um, he's got the ball joints just about everywhere. Uh, double hinge joints at the at the elbows, bicep, uh, ball jointed, rotating ball joints on the on the wrists, hips, double jointed knees, ankle tilts, all the good stuff. All the stuff that you want in your stuff is there. Very nice recreation of the suit from Zoo Rangers slash Power Rangers. Uh, his Morpher is gold. Somebody's complaining that his Morpher should be gold. It is. Um, and unfortunately, like, they made this... I mean, I, I get why they did it. You might be able to pop everything apart and get this, uh, the Dragon Shield off. Uh, it's not really designed to come off. I think it would have been... I know they're doing an Armored Red Ranger, or a Tyranno Ranger. 
so that that has the shield from that that time that that happened. But um, I thought it would have been cool if you could have swapped the accessories. Uh, they they didn't make it, so that's I mean, like, I'm sure with some work you could make it happen, but it's not going to be easy. Um, a minor complaint is that the way since in order to make room for the uh, for the elbow joints, they kind of cut the gold band. It's just missing right there. I mean, which doesn't look so bad when you've got his hand but arms bent up. But uh, if you have him in any sort of neutral or straightish pose, there's a big gap here where the gold band should go all the way around. Also, he's got a circle on his butt. I'm not sure why. Um, so, yeah, he also does come, like I said, he comes with all the different various fists, the swords. Um, he also comes with the parts from Akiba Ranger with the, uh, when they had their American delusion where... Uh, G Ranger was uh, an American creation, and all of the Japanese Sentai was based on it. Um, so you can pop it on and give him a, an Americanized, you know, red, white, and blue striped belt and collar. Um, and it's just a matter of just popping everything apart, popping the neck piece off. I don't care for it. Um, I don't know if the I don't think the American release is going to include these, um, and and for, for you know for valid reason, but. Uh, I don't, I don't particularly care for it. I'm, I'm, I'm plugging them on just to show it off here, but i um, not a big fan. I mean, I, mean, I like a Keeper Ranger. I have a, I have a great time watching that show, um, and it was a funny moment where they showed up, but I, I don't need to display them like that. That's, you know, like that. And, it, and he does still have the hole to plug in the, uh, the, sh the scabbard over here. So you can do that if you want. Um, I'm probably just going to swap it back to the white and display them like that with all my other uh, figure arts. Uh, Sentai teams. But there he is, very cool. Um, Dragon Ranger from the SH Figure Arts line. Just got in today. Beast is on the way, so we'll have him up in a couple of days. Very cool. Highly recommended. Whether you import him or you wait for the Bluefin release over here in the U.S., definitely worth picking up, especially if you ever watch the old TV show.